Welcome back to Wayne TV. I have with me today Mark Colebrook. And Mark doing? is one of the teachers at Eastern Wayne High School. Yes, so good sir. to see you, my friend. Good to see you again, friend. And we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, Operation Unite Goldsboro, which we've talked about in the past. Yes, sir. Uh, but uh, things have happened since you and I spoke in the last month or so yes, sir. about that. And yes, sir. Uh, two things are going to be going on. And that is uh, what will be happening under that umbrella for the summer for the kids to be involved in. Mm -hmm. yes, and then, of course, we're looking toward the next school year when it begins. The kids come back around the 27th, 28th of August and Absolutely. making sure those kids are safe in their classrooms. Yes, and sir. not only that they are safe, but psychologically they Absolutely. feel like they're safe. Yeah, you know, that that makes a whole big concept. difference. That's whole exactly person. right. For those folks that don't know, uh, what yes. do you teach over at Eastern Wayne? Uh, I am a uh, math educator. Uh, teaching math and then also um, coaching JV girls basketball. Wonderful, wonderful. Yes, I love that. I used to uh, do color commentary for basketball. Oh, okay. And uh, so, you know, everybody has their job. <laughs> so the guy who did the play-by-play -play knew exactly what he was doing. And, and I would always say, you know, it's a great day outside. That's what color does. You just, it's a great day. <laughs> yes, it was. We'll get back to the game now. Eight to what do you think of this player? I think she's good at what she does. See, that was my job. Got you know? so, got you. <laughs> I just got added in a little, little something, something there. Yes, so yes, I'll be I'll be the color commentator to your play-by-play -play okay. today. How about that? All right. Sounds Mark's going to be telling us a little bit about not only Operation Unite Goldsboro, but at the same time, uh, the the fun things that the community as a whole is putting together for our young people to uh, keep them busy during our couple of summer months they've got coming up. What Tell Absolutely. us all about that. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, we uh, have been busy putting together and planning um, events. Uh, for uh, our kids and, and, and also for the parents to make sure that, you know, we want the parents to feel comfortable yes. with uh, where their kids are going to be going. So uh, what we've come up with is a, a name called Safe Youth Summer Extravaganza. And so uh, 2018, it's our uh, goal and vision that this will just grow and grow and grow and that every year we'll have just a plethora of things to do and people will join on board, Wonderful. either businesses or individuals and stuff like that, so that no kid is, is, is left out. Because when you look at the numbers, uh, there are 33 uh, Wayne County Public Schools which houses over 18,000 kids. Is that right? Yes, sir. You know, most of the time if we think about the school, our child goes to, we think about, well, and I'm talking about elementary, right. middle, and then senior high, well, we might have 500 here, or we might have 700 there, or we might have 1,200 here, but you don't think about 18,000 for the entire county. Absolutely. That's a lot of kids to be out uh, roaming the streets That's during right. the summertime. That's right. There's, you know, <laughs> so you got, you got 18,000 uh, kids, and then uh, particularly in, in, in right here in the area that we're looking at in, in Goldsboro, there's 7,000. 7,000. That, that uh, you know, we're, we're really, you know, trying to target. Sure. Uh, and that doesn't include, as you talked last time, the ones that are going to be coming from out of town to visit. Yes, exactly. With when, relatives and things. That's right. You always have uh, cousins and folks to come, and the first thing they say is, what are we going to do today? That's right. <laughs> that's right. And, and if there's, you know, nothing in, in, in place, and so our goal, you know, this year is to have something for them to do, and then next year just do a better job of planning and say, okay, if you're expecting uh, to have uh, your cousins uh, down, the, this is the information we'll need. Go ahead and get them registered Wonderful. so that you can Wonderful. go ahead and when they come in, sure. they're ready to roll. And, 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 and that's not a hiccup in it's between. It's not a hiccup in between. Yeah, wonderful. Absolutely. Now, I know you, uh, from, from when we talked in the past, we've talked about uh, many organizations, not mm -hmm. just several, but many organizations right. are coming together yes. to say, hey, we've got this going on this particular week or Absolutely. this is going on this particular time. And as we've talked about in the past, it doesn't have just to be the Y or W.A. Foster, or it could be right. any and everything going on. Our churches will Absolutely. be having vacation Bible schools uh, different weeks of the months uh, that the yes, kids sir. will be out of school. So yes, what are some yes, of the things that will be available? Uh, let me tell you some of the things. Uh, the uh, Goldsboro Police Department uh -huh. is actually going to have a uh, two summer camps, and that's going Wonderful. to be um, the, the two. It's the latter part of July, okay. and uh, it's going to be free. And so you can go to the uh, website, uh, Goldsboro uh, Police Department's website, and the uh, point of contact there is Officer Fleming. And so Officer they're Fleming. looking to, to do some things with kids, not only from a perspective of having something for the kids to do, but again, as part of that community policing and relationship building yes. and trust building. Yes. If we can do that with the kids, then the kids will help with the adults. So that's a great segue. That, I'm so glad you mentioned that because we didn't have a a chance to go over this ahead of time as to what you're going to do, but the moment you mention uh, any law enforcement that can have uh, uh, good relations, I guess you could say, with right. the community in whatever way that be, like these summer camps, is a wonderful thing because uh, most of the time uh, people 
I, I'll say this, I'm a chaplain with the Sheriff's Department, and I had a mother say this one time, and she was doing it in a joking way, but it, it still didn't l look good on the law enforcement side of things. Right. She saw that I had my badge, and she didn't say chaplain, she just thought I was a deputy, you know, right. and she said, her, her child was, you know, just being a little irritating, and she said, right. now you better stop or I'm going to have him arrest you, you know, so that yeah. kind of gives you a yeah. bad perspective on mm -hmm. things. And I know she was only playing, but at right. the same time, it makes the kid think, oh my goodness, this the only reason this person with this uh, badge on is right. there is to uh, arrest, arrest me or, or take me in for something. You know? Absolutely. So with this particular uh, camp that they're going to have, that's right. a great way for the officers to be able to be with the kids right. and to be one-on-one -on -one communication-wise. Absolutely. Absolutely. Do you know what age group that that'll be available for? Uh, yes, sir. They're looking at uh, from age group uh, 8 until like 16. Wonderful. So yes, that's sir. a good broad age, age good range broad there. there. And you know, uh, Chief uh, West has done a just an, an awesome job. Uh, they they have developed a uh, instead of a police athletic league that hey. most people have, they call it a police activities league. Wonderful. So that they not only want to do it from an athletic standpoint because they're already involved with the uh, boys and girls club and the YMCA with any type of teams. They, sure. they always have a team there, but they also are, are are doing other things with them from mentoring and homework uh -huh. and those things as well. So that is tremendous. That is really reaching out in the community and helping out in a, a tremendous way there. Yes, very sir. much so. Yes, now sir. that'll be one of the things that'll be going on yes, in the sir. summer near the end of July, I believe you said. In July. Okay. Uh, Goldsboro Parks and Rex, uh, the director over there, Scott Bernard, um, does a wonderful job. They have uh, the W.A. Foster Center, they have the, uh, the Herman Park, and then they'll also have different um, uh, sports camps. Mm -hmm. So uh, what they're going to do is they're going to have the W.A. Foster, uh, and that'll be for your uh, older kids. Okay, that'll be what age your, range will that uh, be? Those will be uh, probably from like uh, ages nine and up. Nine and up, nine okay. And, up. and this will be through the end, I guess, of high school, so nine uh, on up. Through. No, that'll be uh, from nine, uh, uh -huh. ages nine, uh, at the W.A. Foster Center, nine to, to high school. Nine That's to it. high school, yeah, okay. Nine all the way yeah. up to high school. Always like to make sure I know what parameters we're in so that if moms and dads are saying, well, my kid is either uh, out age that or right. they haven't quite got there yet yeah. so they'll kind of know which one they're looking toward going to and uh, uh, so for yes, them sir. to for those parents with kids or grandkids or whomever in the age of nine on up to high school right where would they get who would they get in touch with uh, to sign they, up for they that they would uh, get in contact with uh, the director over there is uh, Gladys, Gladys over okay. there and uh, for for all of the the Goldsboro um, programs they uh -huh. can go to uh, Goldsboro Parks and Recs uh, dot com, dot com slash uh, registration and it'll bring wonderful. them to how to register and, and what they need to do and give them all of their particulars on that. Oh, that's program. wonderful. So, uh, again, what we're doing is kind of hitting the highlights on things today. Yes. But we also, uh, as you're doing with the Goldsboro Camp, uh, they, of course, can get in touch with Officer Fleming about mm -hmm. that event coming up. Yes. And then yeah. uh, with Gladys about the yeah, events Gladys coming up WA for the Foster. And then over at the uh, the Herman Park Center sure. is uh, kind of the, the, the fun camp for your little ones. From oh, like wonderful. Your, from like your five into nine. Oh, age great. Group as well. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then uh, the second part of that is they have uh, summer camps, uh, summer sports camps, sure. uh, basketball, archery, fishing, all of those things as well. Uh, that'll be throughout the summer. Summer, and all of those camps, all of these things start June 11th, the June, week, 11th. June 11th, okay. until uh, the last week in um, I want to say August uh, 14th. That okay. week there. Because uh, we, we've taped a couple of things here, so I always want to see if I can remember exactly what we have and haven't right. said, but uh, the kids, I guess, officially will be getting out of school around the 8th of June. Correct. And uh, then in that week of the 25th, 26th, 27th of August is when they'll be going back in officially. Right. So officially, right. there's that time frame in between when all of these things will be occurring. Correct. Now, the archery and things of that nature, uh, will that all be a part of the Herman Park Center, or what is, uh, uh, how it'll, do they it'll get? It'll be, that'll be part of the uh, Herman Park Center. Okay. Um, as as well as uh, some over at the WA Foster Center. Okay. So what that. happens is, uh, let's say um, you want to register your child for that's an age group from nine until let's say nine to fifteen at sure. WA Foster Center. Uh, there's a, a a weekly fee mm -hmm. for that, and it's from like you know eight until you know three o'clock. Okay. You're in that camp, and in that camp, you guys are doing different things and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But in addition to that, your child says, "Well, I want to go here this week and do this," but this week they have basketball camp. So they can come here uh -huh. for one week, and they can kind of bounce back and forth. So you're not locked into oh, I see. any okay. one particular thing. You can mix and match. I understand now because uh, most of the time when I thought of the word camp, you would think of a three to four to five day event right. uh, that would be 
just for that time frame, that'd be the end of it. But right. the kind of event you're talking about, they could actually go from week to week, is that right? Yes. Okay, and be a part of for a fee right. for each of the time Correct. frames that they're involved with. So, for instance, with. if, you know, like my son, he, he was interested in basketball, and, and they were going to have basketball camp, let's say, uh, the second week in July. Mm -hmm. But that was only out of all this, the sports camps that he was interested in. Mm -hmm. So I would sign him up for basketball camp, and then all the rest of the weeks I'd put him over here at the W.A. Foster camp. I see. Okay. So you can actually plug your child into the different events right. and, uh, for lack of a better term, not be pigeonholed just for one thing, Correct. unless there's only one thing that you're you know, interested right. in being involved with that Absolutely. way. So it actually gives parents and other folks that are involved with their kids, grandkids, whomever it might be, uh, opportunity not to just say, well, gosh, this is the only thing I can do with my young person or that my young person can do along with their cousins or whoever happens That's to right. be here. That's right. We've got a variety of events that we can plug you into. To. But the big thing always comes back to registering ahead of registering time. Registering ahead of time, you know, and that's where you can go on the Goldsboro uh, Parks and Rec dot com slash registration mm -hmm. uh, website, and then you can register for any of these. Oh, events. that's wonderful! That's wonderful. Do you know of any others that are having any things over the summertime? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that's Goldsboro uh, Police Department. Mm -hmm. uh, that's uh, the uh, Goldsboro Parks and Recs, and then Miss um, <clears throat> Francine Smith, who's the director of Project uh, Yes. Uh, it's having a, a program, and that's the program actually I'll be working oh, in wonderful. this summer. So I'll be a, a camp lead over yeah. in that program, and that program starts uh, now, June. Now, before okay. we jump into that, let yeah. me ask you this because I, I'm not aware of it, uh, just because I'm, I, I don't know anything about it. Right. Could you tell us kind of getting into what you're going to be a part of with uh, Project Yes? What, what exactly is Project Yes? Uh, Project Yes, uh, what it stands for is uh, Youth Empowerment for uh, Success and Success. Wonderful. You know? So um, it, it's part of a 21st century grant uh, that we used to uh, have and we're in the process of uh, uh, trying to uh, apply for it. Again, it was uh, initially an after school program uh -huh. and um, I was a, a, a director um, over there. Uh, started out, uh, it was at Dillard Middle School we had mm -hmm. it right after school because we had the kids there. Sure. And so, and then we were able to go into the different housing areas and have mm -hmm. it. And so it was a STEM approach, you know, it was from science, technology, yeah. you know, engineering and math uh, approach. So w we're going to do uh, that program uh, in the summer. They did it last year. They, mm -hmm. They've done it um, uh, all summers uh, before. But the difference this year is that in, in the past, you didn't have to pay for it because we had a grant. I see. And, okay. and, and uh, with the difference this year is you're going to have to pay for mm -hmm. it. And it's a, it's a six-week program. Uh -huh. And uh, you, have, you have to be registered by, uh, I want to say, June uh, 15th. Okay. And uh, it, the cost is $400 for those, for those six okay. weeks. For the, six, the entire six for weeks? For the entire six okay. weeks. Okay. And, per and child, is that right? Per child. Yes, sir. Uh, if you have another child, there's mm -hmm. a, a, a discount. You know, oh, for, yeah. you know, for two children. There. Sure. Uh, so now, during that six-week time period, what will the kids be involved uh, in? During that six-week time period, they're going to uh, be involved in um, activities uh, from from math enrichment. Uh, you know, uh, building robots. Oh man, uh, that's great! You know, Can uh, I taking get field involved? Trips. <laughs> I, <laughs> I want to make a, I want to build a robot. Yeah. Bria's over here. I know she'd love to build a robot. Look at <laughs> But you said you know, field trips also? You know, take, taking field trips uh, to the, uh, you know, uh, Natural Museum, uh, Wonderful. history, yeah. things like that. So it's a, it's a fast-paced uh, 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 summer camp. Sure. It keeps them busy, keeps them going, keeps them critically thinking about those things there. So uh, important. And like I said, they've done it for the past three years, and it's been really successful. Now, what age group is that for? Uh, that age group is uh, from, I want to say, up until um, I want to say middle school. Okay. Yeah. So is it elementary school. through middle yeah, school? Is that right? School, okay. So. All right. Okay. So someone might be watching and say, "Wow, that's quite a bit of money to Im invest." But you right. you got to think about the word invest. You're investing in that kid over Absolutely. the summertime, not over just investing summertime. like you normally do in in school when you're paying your taxes and and they're in school yeah. all year yeah. long. But and this leads right into what they Absolutely. can do and uh, and and, and, to and keep again, the skills a, up during the summertime. Yeah. And and one of the things that. Um, you know, uh, technology, uh, and, and when you look at um, reference points, when you keep the kids' minds active in right. the summer, sure, it gives them a jumping start off for right. the year. Yeah. Uh, idle minds, you know, not right. only get into trouble, yeah. but it decreases a lot of what they've learned over the year. Mm -hmm. And so our goal is to, A, make it fun, uh -huh. but also be able to continue to build on what they've learned. So Excellent. let's say we have a, a rising fourth grader in mm -hmm. there who's coming out of third grade, mm -hmm. then specifically we're going to be working with those children on fourth grade things to help prepare them for 
school. So that's very important for folks to know that this yes. is uh, specialized as much as you can per uh, child that yes. goes. You know, so the yes. the money is well invested yeah. to have them well be a part invested. of that. And Absolutely. again, it's not something that you're just starting right off the top with. You've already done this for three years in the past, and yes. you personally will will be involved. I in this. will, is I that will right? personally be there. Uh, what will you be doing? Tour. Um, I will be uh, working for Miss Friend as uh, the team lead. Wonderful. So I'll have the the teachers and the other people under me, and we'll be working together. Oh. And that's what I used to do when I was at Dillard Middle School. That so sounds great. I'm, look, I'm looking forward to it. I haven't had an opportunity in the past summers to to be able to do that. So this is a great opportunity for me to do. Now that to register for this, what do you do? Uh, uh, to register for this, you would go to uh, Project Yes Academy. You okay. know, dot Project org. Yes Academy dot org, and uh, okay. you can register. Wonderful. Wonderful. And again, <laughs> the old saying, "Early bird catches the worm." So yes. go ahead and do these things. That's why uh, my friend Mark and I are meeting now to tell you about these things to make you aware that uh, one, they're available, and two, it is first come, first serve. So Absolutely. we need those folks uh, that are interested in these uh, different camps. And we're talking about everything from, as we mentioned, the Herman Park Center. Uh, W.A. Foster, of course, we're talking about uh, Parks and Recreation yes, and sir. Project Yes there. And uh, I know uh, Bria told us we're running a little short on time, but if okay. you've got one other thing you want to cover, then okay. we'll come back with another program another time. How okay. about that? No problem. Right. Uh, then the next uh, program would be over at the uh, Wayne uh, Community College. Okay. They have a, uh, it's called the Summer Explora Exploration Camps, and uh, they have uh, things uh, like video game camp, they have an uh, automotive camp, they have an uh, integration technology camp, they have about 10 different camps that you can uh, sign up for, and then they have an enrichment camp that's specifically focused on your math, your reading, and then also your science oh, skills. That is wonderful. Uh, and, and, and that camp there, the, that camp is specifically for rising 7th and 8th graders okay. uh, to work on reading, uh, math and science. That's Those seven, two grade levels. Two seven. grade levels. Mm -hmm. But the other camps are uh -huh. broken up uh, from rise from sixth to eighth grade, uh -huh. and then from ninth to twelfth grade. I see. Okay. Yeah. Now, for the one at Wayne Community, how do you register for that? The one for uh, Wayne Community, uh, the best way to do is to go to uh, Wayne Wayne the Wayne Community uh, College website. Okay. Uh, and then uh, what you do is you look under uh, Summer Exploration Camps. Okay. And then it'll pull you to uh, the registration site, and it will also tell you all of the things that you need to do. And I'm gonna give you a name and oh, number as great. well. Uh, the the name is uh, Lisa Newkirk. Lisa name Newkirk. Name is uh, Lisa Newkirk, and uh, her number is nine one nine seven three one seventeen seventy. And this is for your rising what grades again? Uh, that's for your rising uh, sixth through eighth, uh -huh. and then your rising ninth through twelve. Wonderful. Yes, I tell you what, we've just touched the surface on some of the things that yes, are sir. available for our young people this coming summer. Right. And we just want to let everybody know that there are more things to come. We'll be talking about more of those things. And I'm so glad to have my friend Mark Colebrook yes, to sir. talk with me about this. Yes, sir. It's keeping our kids busy and safe and both safe. in the summer and coming up in the next school year. Yes, sir. We look forward to seeing you again next time right here on Wayne TV. All right. Thank you.